when I told radiologists that my goal was to image single cells, single cancer cells, they told me that it was impossible and that it would never happen. My name is David Kirsch, I'm 37 years old. I'm a radiation oncologist and when I take care of patients with cancer, um, I see that there's a big unmet clinical need. A lot of patients have surgery to remove their cancer and after the surgery, we don't know whether all the tumor cells have been removed and we don't know which patients need radiation therapy. So currently, for example, with breast cancer, where um, most women have the tumor removed with a lumpectomy, so the tumor is removed um, from the breast, Approximately two-thirds of those patients will never have the tumor recur, even without any radiation treatment. But almost all of those patients get radiation therapy. And we're developing imaging probes that are taken up by tumor cells and activated. And then we're also developing um, imaging technology to try to image those cancer cells at a single cell resolution. One of my um, favorite analogies for this is um, like if you're at a baseball stadium standing at home plate at a night game and someone in the bleachers takes a picture with a flash. You can't see the person's face, what their nose looks like, but you can tell that um, a flash went off um, in which part of the ballpark. And this is what we want to ho we hope to guide our surgeons to um, see that there's been microscopic residual cancer left behind in a specific quadrant so they can go back and take out additional cancer cells at the time of the operation. I was surprised when I was awarded the Innovation Award. Um, there were over 400 applicants um, for these awards the top scientists in the country were, were competing. And um, I, I thought our idea was, was a good one that we, that we submitted, um, but I knew that there were lots of other good ideas too. One of the unique aspects of the Innovation Award um, that, um, through Damon Runyon is that it's funding scientists at the very beginning of their careers. So um, many of us have ideas, some of them are very risky ideas that may or may not pan out. Um, but if they do, they could really change the way we um, diagnose and treat cancer. Mm -hmm.